Hello, my name is Anjan Bose, and I'm a professor of electrical engineering at Washington State University. I have worked in the field of electric power engineering all my career, and uh, that's what I teach and that's what I do research in at the moment. But today is probably the most exciting time of doing electric power engineering. As you know, uh, electrical uh, power was generated first uh, 130 years ago or so and uh, uh, has become the lifeline for most of our energy use in the world. The problem that it has created is that we generate most of this electricity, about 60 to 70 percent of it, by fossil fuels, natural gas and coal particularly. And this has resulted in the heating of the environment and the change in the climate. And uh, the Paris Accords uh, that was agreed upon at the United Nations by all the countries was to try and keep this rise of temperature to less than 1.5 degrees uh, by 2050, which means that in about 30 years, we have to stop burning fossil fuels completely. Uh, this is a tall order because 70% of our generation is done with fossil fuel. And to replace that, we will need to use more non-carbon sources like solar and wind. Uh, of course, water and nuclear are also available, but most water uh, sources have already been used uh, quite extensively. So to um, do this, we have to construct very large amounts of solar and wind generation. And because solar and wind generation is not constant, that is the availability of solar and wind is varying, we have to also have storage devices, whether that be batteries or hydrogen gas or any other way of doing it. In addition to this change, we also need to have need to modernize the grid so it can handle this completely different mix of generation which will be completely uh, non-carbon and as you know uh, wind and solar generation is not done at 60 hertz ac so all of that generation has to utilize power electronics or inverters to turn them into AC generation that we can utilize, which means that the, that the power grid has to become a lot more intelligent, which means that we have to use a lot more computers and communications and measuring sensors uh, to be able to control this grid in a very optimal manner. By that, I mean that we have to also be able to withstand all of the climate change effects of more storms and flooding and other uh, natural disasters that are increasing as well. So for the next 30 years, this is going to be where all the effort is going to be by uh, electric power engineers to modernize the grid, to decarbonize the grid, and make it much more, uh, much more reliable and uh, uh, resistant to uh, natural calamities. Thank you.